Hey guys, it's Cora Ross and welcome to Busting Rainbow Six Siege. Today we're busting some myths on the test server and some of these are amazing. So let's start with the patch notes. I noticed a couple of things in the patch notes that really perked my interest. And the first one was that players actually getting sent through the air with an air jab are now going to destroy gadgets as they go. Now they could already blow up like Jashanka's turret, they could already go through deployable shields, but not individual gadgets. So let's take a look at this. So first up is the air jab with the claymore. Now this is obviously a very big tactic right now, which is you put down an air jab, then you put down a claymore, that will launch the person into claymore and get a kill. So here we go, we've got the claymore right there, and of course, we're gonna air jab lesion. And the idea here is, if this was a normal setup, this would work. It would detonate the claymore and kill him, but he actually destroys the claymore as he flies through it. Now you might be thinking, what if you just set it up then so the lasers are actually pointing towards the defender and get your air jab set up that way? That way, you know, it's going to detonate, right? No, it's actually going to get destroyed. So this is confirmed. This will mean you're going to probably have to think a little bit more about placement of the claymore to make sure it's not going to actually come into physical contact with the player, otherwise it's going to get destroyed. Next up is Kaid Shotgun. This has finally been fixed and this is me actually testing it in game. So this is mouse right now shooting and you can see that it just goes just above the table. Uh, it's unchanged from previous versions. Here is the controller version now. So just a touch less recoil than the mouse and keyboard. So that is awesome. This is how it used to be or how it's actually been for like what, a month now. And uh, this, you know, this is a test server. It's not even live yet. So uh, it's probably going to be even longer than that. But yeah, confirmed the recoil has been fixed for controller with Kaid shotgun. And thank God for that. So of course I have to test every single gadget I can think of to see if it'll get destroyed by this air jab. So I'm not going to do stuff like Valkyrie cams and things like that because usually they're up high. But I thought mute jammers, they're on the ground. A defender is very likely to actually get knocked into a mute jammer at some point. And I wanted to see what would happen. So first off, positioning wasn't perfect. Ended up sending him into the actual solid wall and he didn't go anywhere. But uh, we'll do this again and we'll send him through. Uh, the two walls and see if he takes out these mute jammers. This is definitely interesting. There's also a bulletproof camera there too, which gets completely wiped out. So the bulletproof camera and the mute jammers get destroyed by a flying player, which I think is relatively possible, right? You're going to be in positions that that's going to happen. So confirmed. Now let's test two more things. So first of all, barbed wire. Will a player going through the air actually take out barbed wire? And the electric claw. Let's see if anyone destroys the electrical as they fly through the air. So I decided to pick an attacker to do this because I'm interested if they'll actually get damaged by the electrified barbed wire. Now you can see right now she's right on the limit just outside the electrical effect, even though it looks like she should be getting electrified. And um, we're gonna send her through it and see what happens. Now of course electricals might be positioned up high, but sometimes they might be down low like this in barbed wire and yeah, the electricals got taken out. The actual barbed wire itself survived but the electrical absolutely destroyed. Again, that's kind of that's confirmed and quite a surprise, I'd say. Now let's move on to Frost's welcome mat. Now, while I was doing these tests, I was thinking, no chance this is gonna work. No way, no way. And Frost just absolutely destroys both her mats. Now, I would say this is, you know, relatively possible that you might just get launched into one of these, you know, you're holding down an objective or something. Uh, a defender might actually end up taking out a frost mat. But as you can see, if an attacker gets launched over it, they get grabbed uh, just like normal. So at least that's good, but quite surprising that a defender can take out their own traps now with the air jab flying them back. So that's confirmed. I'm amazed by that. Now talking about traps, what about goo mines? So again, I was kind of thinking, nah, this won't get destroyed, right? Because, you know, these are going to be down a corridor, right? There's a good chance someone will get blasted into them and it, they do get destroyed. They do get taken out. So if you're a defender and you're roaming and you get hit by an air jab, you may get launched through a couple of lesion traps and take them out. Now, what if it's flipped and it's actually the attacker that's caught in the air jab explosion and gets launched? Will they set off the lesions or will they destroy them? 
So we've seen the frost traps, they actually grab the person rather than be destroyed. And the lesion traps do go off without being destroyed by the attacker, which is good. So confirmed, a defender flying through the air can take out lesion traps. So what about the prisma? These things usually are lying around and easily a defender could get launched through them. So there's three of them in the row with Alibi at the front and all three of them get absolutely massacred. So that is confirmed. Crazy. Now onto Maestro. I thought, hmm, will Maestro's turrets get destroyed? They are, you know, bulletproof. Usually the only thing it takes them out is explosives. So this would be good if it doesn't destroy them. And thankfully it doesn't. This would be really bad if it actually took them out. So thankfully that's busted. It doesn't destroy the Legion traps. But that's quite something. So even like Jaeger's active defense systems will get taken out by these. So that's quite a change to Nomad's gadget. It's probably extremely situational. Uh, but if you're in an objective room with mute jammers, Jaeger's active defense systems, Prism holograms, all that stuff, there's a chance you're going to get launched through multiple gadgets and absolutely wreck them all. Um, so that is surprising. But it's probably not a huge change that you're going to notice so much. But I'm sure there will be points in the odd game where you get launched through like four or five gadgets and absolutely destroy them all. And as a defender, you'll actually get minus points for actually destroying all those gadgets, even though you had no control over it. Now, the other thing is, of course, the Claymore. Like being able to go through the lasers, then actually hit the gadget and destroy it is quite something. So that would just mean that the positioning of the Claymore is going to be more important now with Nomad. And that's probably a good thing, considering she already has a Claymore herself, making it a little bit more skill-based might be good. But you guys can let me know what you think in the comments below, because I think this is definitely some pretty significant changes to these gadgets. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.